Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mini T Point. Today I'm going to discuss the essential shortcuts in Mac. Let's get started. The first one is Command X. Command X is used for cut the select item. So cut is nothing but similar to the move operation. If I wanted to move from one place to the another place or one section to the another section or one paragraph to the another paragraph, so you can use the command X. I'll use the command X. You can see the command X has been removed. I wanted to place it after command V. So to do that, you need to paste the element or the item. You need to use command V. So command V is for pasting. And similarly, command C is for copying. Copying is nothing but making a duplicate. And let's try that. And I wanted to paste the command C. You can see the command C has been repeated twice. It's similar to the uh, we are making duplicate element. And command C is to undo the operation. Let's undo the previous operation. You can see the command C has been removed. If you want to redo the undo, then you need to use command shift C. And for selecting all the items, you need to use command A. You can see all the items has been selected. And similarly, for finding an item, you need to use command F. You can see the find window has been opened. And for hiding a particular window, you need to use command H. Let me try with the let me open Firefox. You can see the Firefox. If I wanted to hide this Firefox, then I need to use command H. You can see the Firefox has been hidden. And to print the document, you need to use command P. You can see the print window has been opened. And for opening an item or if you want to open a file, then you need to use command O. You can see the your window has been opened to open the file. For now, I am cancelling it. And to save the current document, you need to use command S. And for opening a new tab, you need to use command T. Let me try that. Uh, I'm in the finder. If I want to open a new tab, you can press command T. You can see the new window has been opened. And if you want to close the one of the window, you need to use command W. If I want to close this particular window, I need to command W. You can see the window has been closed. And similarly, for quitting an application, you need to use control command escape. So you can see the force quit window has been opened. I want it to close by force, then I'll select and I'll click on force quit. And then click on force quit. You can see the Firefox has been closed successfully. And the other thing, if you want to make full screen, you need to use command option. So command shift F. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.